you're thinking about moving to Baltimore, Maryland, and you've gone online and you're wondering, what does a million dollars buy for you? And it's kind of a big thing because you see all these massive homes online, but first you have to decide you know, where you want to live. And that's where I come in. So let's get to it. So you're thinking about moving to Baltimore, Maryland, and you're wondering, hmm, how much does a million dollars buy? Well, first, you're gonna to have to figure out which area you wanna live in, and that's what this video is all about. So make sure you stay tuned till the very end because I'm gonna show you like five or six different areas where what a million dollars will buy for you in Baltimore, Maryland, and let you decide if this is right, the neighborhood's right for you or not where you wanna live. So, uh, yeah. hey, I'm John Ruckman, I'm the Charm City Property Dude, and this is like the nine or 10 places that you can buy a house for a million dollars. Now, there are a lot of areas within the surrounding counties where you can buy you know, 900, a million dollars. There are even some houses in Harford County, Carroll County, Baltimore County that are like two, three million dollars. I know over in Baltimore County, they had Cal Ripken's house up for sale a few years ago. And uh, his place, I think they originally listed it for like 15 or $12 million. And uh, it was severely overpriced. The agent should have been embarrassed to buy it for themselves because they really overpriced the house. The only thing, I mean, it was a nice house. It had tennis courts, had basketball courts, had the gym and all that. But $15 million in the neighborhood, I think the Pops, Pops house would probably get $5 million. And the only thing, if you're really crazy with your money, you can say, yeah, I crafted this thing totally Cal Ripken did. So anyway, if you're not familiar with Cal Ripken, he used to play baseball for the Baltimore Orioles, the original Iron Man down here. And uh, yeah, so you got your million dollar houses in Baltimore County, you got your million dollar houses in Carroll County. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you all these houses and I'm gonna let you decide exactly which neighborhood you wanna live in and what a million dollars buys. So we'll start with South Baltimore. For $1.5 million, there is this house right here. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a corner house and it encompasses, I think it's like two or three houses there on the corner. And you can see from the pictures that the contractors have completely redone this house. This is probably going to be the most expensive house on the street of Baltimore City. And it's located in, uh, you know, it's located off of um, Port Avenue down there at uh, McHenry Row. Uh, there are a lot of condos in the area. There's um, you know, over on Key Highway, there are the condos there that are going for, you know, one, two, uh, three million dollars. These, you'll know the Ritz-Carlton because that's where Tom Clancy lives. You know, the famous author lives there. And those uh, condos are anywhere from one, like $2.4 million with, uh, I think the HOA fee per month is like 2,500. And I think even the penthouse might be a little bit more. It's really ridiculous, but then it's like all inclusive. So your meals are there, you can get your dry cleaning there. Everything is there. So that's uh, Locust Point, Ford Avenue, McHenry Row, and Key Highway. And so you, you're gonna get you're gonna get older homes that have been updated, and then you're gonna get the condos that are brand new, and you got some of the sky risers as soon as you get to like the top floors and stuff, you'll get into like the million dollar houses there. Now, if you for whatever reason you got a family, you're not single, you're not like you're not the neurologist over at John Hopkins who makes four hundred thousand dollars a year and you happen to be single. And sometimes maybe a sky rise um, apartment or condo is not going to be the house for you. And you really don't want to live on the city streets of Baltimore for whatever reason, even though it's a great neighborhood, you might want to move out a little bit. This is where like the neighborhoods of like Mount Vernon, which is straight up 83. Okay, so Charles Street runs like this and St. Paul Street runs like this. Uh, Mount Vernon is like right here, okay? And these houses are like right here and right here, respectively, they're a million dollar. Beautiful house, uh, 12,000 square foot house, um, sells for about $1.2 million and uh, has everything. I mean, it's got a huge kitchen, it's got granite countertops, it's got the gallery kitchen. It's a beautiful house. It was updated by the contractors. And then you have the one on St. Paul Street, which is also another beautiful house. But hey, sometimes maybe you don't want city life. So you're not thrilled with city life. So I'm gonna get into these next set of houses. Okay, so you're not thrilled with city life. You kinda of wanna to get towards, yes, you might want a yard. You might wanna cut the grass, I don't know. For whatever reason, you don't want the row homes that have been built and fixed up in uh, Baltimore. You want a single family house. If we spread out just a little bit further, you have 
this beautiful house that's located in Pikesville, Maryland. Um, this is a humongous 5,000 square foot house, has everything you want. As you can see, it has a little bit of land, so you're definitely going to need to cut the grass, or you can hire somebody to cut the grass. Um, I think they do it for like $50 or $75 a grass cut. So uh, you got a big house, usually it's a five bedroom, five bath, two car garage, parking patch. You might even have a tennis court, you might even have a basketball court. But this is what a million dollars in Pikesville buys you, okay? Or you can go just a little bit uh, counterclockwise towards Towson. So Towson is like 12 o'clock from uh, downtown Baltimore. And this house is a million dollars. And as you can see, it's, it's slightly smaller. It's like four bedroom, three and a half bath. Uh, all done up, really, really nice house, and this is what a million dollars will buy you in Towson. Now, if you still want to get out from the, the fray of everybody, you, know, you can always go out to like either Hartford County, you can go out further out into Baltimore County, or you can go further over to Carroll County, which these are all like, I don't know, 45, 50 minute drives to downtown Baltimore. But hey, you've got a family, or you've got a ton of people in your family, you've got kids, you like cutting the grass, you need more space so here i'm going to show you some new construction there's regular resale houses here as well but i'll show you some new construction in both harford county and uh, you absolutely do not want to live in the city you don't mind a drive you got a nice car you don't mind a 45 minute drive to downtown baltimore you've got to you don't worry about parking or anything like this this is a new build construction out in sykesville which is carroll county to the south side of 26. This house features five bedrooms, five and a half baths, two car, three car garage, brand new model, brand new model. So you can order it any way you want. And like I said, it's out, it's out in the country. Um, you're typically gonna have two plus acres, so you better figure on cutting the grass. Uh, I do know the guys who cut grass, usually 50 to $100 a cut, they can cut every other week. And uh, this is what a million dollars would buy you in Carroll County. Man, maybe you don't want to go west. You want to go towards north. You've heard Harford County is really good. So here, there's a plethora of million plus dollar homes here in Harford County. The one I'm showing you right now is in Forest Hill. It's just below uh, Jarrettsville and just to the east of Faustin. This house is a five bedroom, five and a half bath, three car garage, has a swimming pool, has the, um, the swim swim house so you can go change your bathing suits and this is everything you want takes probably 50 minutes to get to Baltimore from there with traffic with traffic and probably a little faster uh, without traffic I'd say cut 10 minutes down but usually uh, Hartford County you can get quite more house and of course there's you know you always have all these recreation trails in Hartford County you got them in Carroll County you got them out of Pikesville House you got recreation you can jog you can bike uh, you can stroll the kids down the sidewalk city sidewalks all these places are great. Uh, and then also, you can go into Carroll County. These are new construction as well. Carroll County is more like from Baltimore. It's probably a 45, 50 minute drive. So it's straight up 795. As soon as 795 ends, you go across 140, almost to Westminster. These are new construction too. Uh, five baths, two, five and a half uh, baths, granite countertops, stainless steel appliances, everything you could want. Uh, two plus acres, you're gonna definitely need a, uh, a lawnmower and you're definitely going to need uh, a decent car to get back and forth to Baltimore. Uh, the only problem with Harford County, uh, Baltimore County, and Carroll County is there's really no, there are share rides, so you park at the parking ride and they'll bring you downtown, but it's kind of limited to the times. So if your time doesn't match what they're doing, so you better figure that when you drive into Baltimore or wherever you drive for your job, that if they don't have parking, that you're going to have to pay for parking in Baltimore. So. Yeah, so that, those are the million dollar houses. I mean, they're all over the place. You can find them in Anne Arundel County if you want to go south. Howard County is traditionally anywhere from 550 to a million. Uh, Carroll County has a ton of million dollar houses. And babies, hit the like and subscribe button down below and the notification bell to get this and all the other great videos that this channel offers. You'll really be doing me a favor. And if you make a comment down below, I will send you my free buyer's guide. This will answer any question you may have that wakes you up in the middle of the night. You open the book, you can read the book, and it will tell you. Basically, just depends. If you want to be in the city, a million dollars will buy you a condo in the sky or a remodeled row home with the traditional colonial look and feel, but the interior is all going to be granite countertops, stainless steel appliances. Or you can go out to the county 
uh, Baltimore County, Harford County, and you get a house, humongous 5,000 square foot house for a million dollars, but you're definitely going to need a lawnmower or a lawn service, and you're definitely going to need a car to get back and forth to work. So that right there are the million dollar homes here in Maryland. Um, listen, I get a lot of phone calls from great folks just like you every day, calling, texting, emailing. I, I absolutely love it. Uh, so whether you call, text, or email me, don't worry, I've got your back when it comes to real estate. So yeah, that's what you can get for a million dollars in Maryland. And I'll catch you on the next video. I think this one right here is real, 